Hi everyone, today I want to show you how to make this kind of techno and especially rumble, um, the rumble of the kick. So this is the rumble. And with the kick it sounds like this. So what I did here is I just grabbed um, a simple kick, it's kind of beefy no processing on it. I added a transient, just a click, and I lowered it by 6 dB. And with the kick it sounds like this. This is without the transient and it actually sounds pretty cool, but I decided to go uh, with the transient and um, lower the 6 dB. Now the main thing here is the rumble. So how, how do we do this? We open an audio track like right click, insert audio track, and then we go the inserts, and my insert, my kick is uh, is on uh, channel 7, so I go here and I click on 7 audio, and then I go post effects, and click on in. Okay, so now we can hear the kick on to this channel. I'm just going to turn off all the processing, and this is my dry kick. So I added a uh, reverb and then I, I made the reverb mono because I don't want um, phase issues and uh, sounds like this and then I saturated the signal with a bit of medium curve. This is adding a lot of uh, high frequency so I uh, lowered, so I, I used an auto filter and um, did like a low pass for on, uh, 200 hertz. So this is going to be like the ro the low part of the rumble. And then I, I uh, took some muddiness out with an EQ8. And I rolled off the super lows. And then I just added like a sidechain compression or in this case a LFO tool. Cool. So this sounds like this. That's the low part of the rumble. Now the we do the we do this again. Um, insert audio track, make it post effects, in, and um, it's coming again. It's it's the dry kick signal coming in. So with everything off, it sounds like this, right? The kick. So in this part, um, I want like instead of the low, the really lows, I want like medium like uh not so lows I, I would call it like uh, low mid so i added a simple delay with a high amount of feedback and then and then i added some reverb so like to wash it off again i made it mono i added an auto filter to remove all the high frequencies and then I use the EQ to specify the frequencies that I want. Which is not like the super lows. Because I'm already doing this in the other, in channel 9. And then I added a sidechain again. So with the, the rumble, with the low rumble sounds like this. And with the kick. Now I felt like I was missing still something, so what I did is I, again, I added an audio track, same routing, everything in parallel processing, but this time I added two delays. The first delay is a 1-1 one, one sync. And then I added a simple delay again with a 3-3, three, three, and it gives it a bit more push, sounds like this. I saturated the signal. super beefy and super strong and then I added an EQ to um, so I didn't want here the low the super lows and I didn't want them the relatively low frequencies I want it to sound a bit like higher but not too high so basically the mid frequencies a bit of highs and the sidechain again 
And um, so this is what the three rumbles sound like with, without the kick and now with the kick. So I was still still missing a little bit of uh, high, higher frequencies. So what I did in this channel is I grab, I, ha I have um, a snare, right? So um, I put a reverb and just the moment that I click uh, play, I, I, I uh, freeze it. I freeze the reverb. So the tail is just gonna keep going on forever. Uh, so I resampled this by adding an uh, audio track Clicking here, resample. I saw this, resampled it. And as you can hear, it's the same, right? It's just a frozen reverb here. So I used a decapitator, which is a saturator to saturate the signal. And then I grabbed an EQ8. I wanted it to sound a bit more airy. So instead of this, I just grab th this frequency and then an LFO tool again. Together it sounds like this. And I'm missing a little bit of a percussion kind of feeling in, in the high end. So I, I added literally just a simple percussive sound. Um, I'm going to show you without processing. Sounds like this. Just a percussion, really boring. I added some reverb, LFO tool, and I really, really lowered the volume so we can barely hear it. It's still audible, but but it's still it's a bit in the back. And now everything together sounds like this. And uh, again, I just added some like hi hat. And here I used like a TB strip and some diva to make uh, some leads. So the main idea here is that you can um, do parallel processing and you don't have to copy everything I did here. You can copy it and just change the parameters. Uh, make sure that if you're doing low rumble that it's um, mono and uh, you can use a uh, different kinds of uh, reverbs. Uh, they don't have to be able to stuck. I'm just using this for like the tutorial. I normally use like Valhalla or something different. Um, again, delays play with the uh, Timing, you can do one, two, 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 three, three, anything. Unsync it, just try, try your best. Do some reverb uh, again after the delays. Just make the sing signal super uh, like stereo in the highs. Like, and then uh, if it's mid, mid, low, keep it mono. So I this way you're not gonna have some phase issues. And add some percussion. It might, it might end up uh, sounding really bad and delete that channel and make another one. So this actually took took me a bit. I It wasn't in one go. I made some channels, delete some, and uh, this is the final result, which I think sounds pretty cool and it's pretty driving. Um, right now I'm doing 128 BPM and it sounds like this. Okay, so I hope you learned something from this and if you have any ideas for new videos, please write them down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. I'm going to be putting more new videos uh, very soon and uh, hope you have a great day.